Here is a 68-year-old female developed AK in the setting of septic shock of pulmonary source. Her hemodynamics rapidly improved with prompt resuscitation, but she still remained aneuric. She was started on thrice weekly, uh, three and a half hours of intermittent hemodialysis sessions with the calculated KTVs as below. The patient refused to dialyze longer than three and a half hours. Uh, look at the hemodialysis sessions on day one, which is showing a KT by V of 1.1. On day two, it is 1.0 and day three, it is 1.2 which clearly says the patient is having under efficient dialysis going on. Why I'm saying that? Because the KT by V ratio should be at least 1.2 to 1.4 according to many international consensus. If the KT by V ratio is in the range of 1.2 to 1.4, whether you dialyze three times per week or whether you dialyze six times per week, especially in the setting of AKA as per the ATN trial is not going to make any much of a difference at all. And that is the reason why for patients convenience, we go for three times per week because it has no difference with six times per week dialysis with regards to mortality or survival rates. So if the patient is having low KT by V, like what is happening in our patient, it's prudent that you should do something to improve the KT by V. How can you improve the KT by V? For that, you need to know what are the things that are present in the KT by V formula. So K stands for clearance. It is based on the dialyzer membrane properties, which is something that you cannot change much. Uh, T stands for the duration of dialysis, which is something that you can change. And V stands for volume of distribution with regards to urea. We are calculating the KT by V for urea. So to find out KT by V, we have many online calculators. What are the data you need to find out the KT by V? So you need to know the pre-dialysis bun and post-dialysis bun and the post-dialysis body weight in kilograms is called as dry weight. Apart from that, you need the duration of dialysis and the total ultrafiltrate rate. Or we can, not total ultrafiltrate rate, you're going to get the net fluid removal rate. That's more important. So using this data, you will be able to find out the KT by V using many online calculators. It's fine. Now. Once again, I can tell that the KT by V is 1.0 to 1.4. Doing dialysis three times per week or doing dialysis six times per week is not going to be of uh, any difference at all in the first place. So you are going to go for three times per week dialysis only. On the other hand, let us look at our patient. This patient is having a KT by V of... Uh, less than 1.2 in most situations in two dialysis sessions. So it is prudent that you have to improve the dialysis efficiency. How can you improve? By increasing the time. That is the duration of dialysis. So if you're going to increase the duration of dialysis, definitely your KT by V will improve. So we can suggest maybe four hours of dialysis per session in this individual. But unfortunately, our patient is in question have refused to dialyse longer than three and a half hours. So what will be the bailout in this kind of situations? So the bailout will be to maintain a KT by V of at least 3.9 per week. This is also a KTGO recommendation in case of exceptional situations like this. So to maintain a cumulative KT by V of 3.9 per week, what you can do, you can make the patient go for dialysis of maybe four sessions per week. So that can improve the KT by V or the cumulative KT by V per week to somewhere around 3.9. So that's fine. So that will be the right answer for this particular question. And what is option A? Continue the same hemodialysis frequency and intensity given the temporary nature of this AK. It's wrong. Um, giving under efficient dialysis is associated with a higher mortality. So you should not do that. Increase the frequency of hemodialysis sessions to six times per week. This is also not recommended. So if you can improve the KT by V to 1.2 to 1.4, then uh, you know, like you need not. Uh, increase the dialysis frequency to six sessions per week. But even though this patient will not agree to improving the KT by V per session because you cannot increase the duration of dialysis in this candidate who is not willing for increasing the duration of dialysis, ma maintaining a KT by V of 3.9 per week is enough. But uh, if you're going to do six times dialysis, that will make the KT by V to somewhere around six or 6.5, which is also not required. So 3.9 per week is enough. And initiate CRRT is not recommended because in a patient who is hemodynamically stable, like what she is, we are not going to go for CRRT. Only in patients who are hemodynamically unstable, we are going to go for continuous renal replacement therapy. So the right answer for this question is going to be option C.